So earlier this week, the long-awaited Acara M2 hub was released to the US market, and following soon, released to the Canadian market. So the M2 is a multi-purpose hub that supports a wide range of sensors, wireless protocols, and it's even equipped with an IR transmitter allowing you to control any of your infrared home appliances. It exposes a security system to HomeKit with support for all four native alarm modes. It supports Alexa, Google Assistant, and of course, HomeKit. So today we're gonna find out if this new hub would be a good addition to your smart home. Let's go. Yo, what's up guys? Thanks so much for joining me. My name is Shane and this channel is all about building an easy smart home using Apple's HomeKit with new videos published every Sunday right here. So if you're a longtime viewer of the channel, you probably know that I've been a big fan of the Acara sensors for a while mainly due to the fact that they're just extremely affordable compared to most of the other home kit you know, accessories and sensors out there. So you can really outfit your house with these, create awesome automations, build a DIY security system, and a lot more, all really without breaking the bank. And like I said, this M2 Hub does support all the voice assistants, but of course we're gonna focus on home kit today because that's what we do on this channel. Now all of these Acar sensors do connect via Zigbee to an Acar hub. So this M2 hub will actually be the third Acar hub that I've used. The first was the original Acar hub, which exposes a security system and a nightlight to HomeKit with a built-in speaker. Now, the interesting thing is that Acar also just released an update to this hub called the Acar M1S hub. We'll talk a little bit more about the differences, you know, in those in just a minute. Now, the second Acar hub that I've used is the Acara G2H camera hub, which is a camera that supports HomeKit secure video, but also acts as a hub allowing you to connect your child Acara devices to it, just like any other Acara hub. Now, we have the new Acara M2 hub here today, so what's really the difference here? And maybe why would you want this one over the others or would you want this thing at all? Well, let's discuss. This is a multi-protocol gateway for maximum compatibility and future-proofing, according to Acara. The hub has Zigbee 3.0, which they say is faster, more stable, and energy efficient, allowing you to connect up to 128 child devices. Now, the original hub only allowed you to connect 32 devices, I believe. There is a caveat to this, though. You can connect up to 128 devices if you have some repeater devices in there kind of sprinkled throughout your setup. So for example, um, the Acara smart plug or the wall switches that have a neutral wire, uh, those act as Zigbee repeaters. Basically those products that are always connected to power can kind of extend that range and allow you to connect even more products. Now an interesting point is that that new Acara M1S hub also uses Zigbee 3.0 and can connect up to 128 devices as well. Some things that set the M2 hub apart is that it also has a built-in IR transmitter, supports Bluetooth low energy, and has an RJ45 Ethernet port, which means you can plug this thing directly into your router for better connection and reliability. It does also include dual Wi-Fi antennas, so you can connect these via Wi-Fi if you choose to. The hub also has a speaker built in and supports the four native alarm home kit modes, just like the newly updated Acar M1S hub. One of the bigger differences of this hub is that it uses a micro USB port for power, whereas the M1 hubs need to be plugged directly into the outlet. And with that said, this one does not feature that little nightlight ring, but I do like the fact that I can kind of, you know, sort of tuck this one out of the way a little bit easier since it doesn't have to be plugged directly into the outlet. Now to set up the hub, just tap add a new device in the Acara app and choose the M2 hub. You'll have to choose if you're using the wireless or ethernet mode. Now I should note that I did set this up both ways just to try it out. When I set it up via Wi-Fi, it actually connected right away the first time. I did have some issues when I tried to set it up via ethernet. 
uh, where it, you know, it just didn't want to pair, which could be because maybe it just needed a factory reset. So I actually did that and to reset this to its factory defaults, just quickly press that little button 10 times. Once I did that, it did pair via ethernet with no issues. To pair, just hold down the button for a few seconds and then go through the prompts, scan your home kit code, then choose the location. You can change the name of the hub, and then you see you get that security system accessory that gets exposed to HomeKit. Now that's all done, and the hub will start binding in the Akara app. So probably the three main functions of this hub that most people will be interested in are one, connecting the various sensors. Like I said, they make all kinds of sensors that get exposed to HomeKit through the hub. And then two, connecting your IR devices to be accessible via the built-in IR controller. And three, the speaker and or the security system function through the Akar app and HomeKit. So let's touch on each of these three things and then I'll wrap it up with my overall thoughts. So first is pairing the child accessories. As I mentioned before, you can pair any of the available accessories. I got a few of them over here. Uh, in fact, I recently made a video showing lots of cool ways, creative ways that you can use all these different little you know, sensors. I'll put a link to that um, up here somewhere and also in the description down below if you wanna check that out. Now pairing these sensors couldn't be any easier. You just tap the new device button in the Akara app choose the sensor that you have, and then follow the steps, which is usually just holding down a little button on the sensor for about five seconds. You can see here how easily I added this Akara motion sensor to my M2 hub. And since my hub is connected in HomeKit, any new sensor that gets paired with the hub is then automatically exposed to HomeKit. You can then use them in any of your HomeKit automations, just like any HomeKit sensor. And the Akar app also gives you the ability to create some automations and you can often do some extra cool things there that you can't even do in HomeKit. However, in the Akar app, you can only automate and control Akara devices. With that said, you can do things like play a sound on the hub when the door has been left open for a certain amount of time, maybe when the home mode is enabled. You know, some pretty cool stuff like that. Next, we have the ability to add and manage your different IR devices. So control plugs, lights, curtains, air conditioners, fans, pretty much anything that uses an IR remote. Now to add an IR device, just go to your hub in the Akar app and tap the plus icon. You can choose what type of device here and they have many manufacturers that you can choose from. If you have a generic device like this cheap little RGB controller for my lights, uh, you can just tap the customize remote icon, enter a name, then start adding buttons by pointing the remote to the hub and press the button. Name each button and set up as many as you like. And once you do that, the remote shows up under your list of accessories as a separate device. You can tap on it, you can control your IR devices from anywhere. Do keep in mind that the hub must have line of sight to the devices you are controlling in order for this to work. Also note, this will not expose those IR functions to HomeKit, unfortunately, but you can add them to Siri shortcuts by creating a new scene in the Akara app and then add it to Siri shortcuts. And the last major function that I wanted to discuss is the security system feature. So as mentioned earlier, this hub does expose the all four security modes to HomeKit being home, away, night, and off. Now, these can be configured in the Akara app and you can determine which of your Akara sensors will trigger the alarm when each mode is armed. Since you have to configure this in the Akara app, you do have to use Akara sensors to trigger your security system. So you can't trigger your Akara security system with an Eve door sensor, just as an example. So in my testing, a few things to note. First of all, the volume on the built-in speaker on this hub is not very loud at all. It's definitely not as loud as the M1 hub. 
it's probably enough to alert you, you know, like while you're sleeping or something like that, but it's hardly enough to scare away a bad guy. One thing you could always do if you wanted is grab a little cheap siren from Amazon with a HomeKit smart plug and configure that to sound off every time the security system is triggered. Just to you know, give you an additional siren. I actually did something similar to that in a video and I'll put a link to that up above if you wanna check that out. Also, I do wanna warn anyone that might be using multiple Acara hubs. So I ran into issues with the security system not working right in HomeKit with my new M2 hub. After contacting support, it turns out that if any sensors are paired with the M1 hub as a part of your security system, then the M2 security modes will not sync with the HomeKit alarm system security modes in HomeKit. I hope that makes sense. They said their developers are working on this and they do expect to address this in an upcoming firmware update. Basically, I just removed the sensors from the alert modes in the Acara app that were paired with my old Acara hub and then the M2 security system uh, modes all worked as you'd expect both in HomeKit and the Acara app and they were both in sync from that point on. And what's actually pretty cool is that that if you do have multiple hubs such as the older M1 hub or even that G2H camera hub all of those other hubs will sound an alarm also if your M2 security system is ever triggered. So the only issue I had with this is that the Acara G2H camera hub wouldn't turn off for some reason when the security system was disarmed like the others. Uh, so for this, I just had to go to the camera and push the little button. But overall, that's pretty cool. So I can use, you know, kind of configure the security system just with my M2 hub. And then if the system is ever triggered, if I have any other hubs in the house, those will sound off also. So overall, what are my thoughts on the Akar M2 hub? Well, it's a pretty capable device. Once again, I am a big fan of the Acara stuff, more or less the sensors and the child devices than anything, since you can get most of these little sensors for you know 20 bucks or less. And I've been very happy with the speed and reliability of them over the years. But with the different options for the Acara hubs, which should you choose? Well, if range is a concern, I'd probably go with the M2 hub. You should get the best range with this one. Plus you have the option to connect this hub, you know, directly to your router, which will make it even more reliable. Uh, also, the M2 hub is the only one that will give you that ability to add IR devices if that's important to you. Again, these won't show up in HomeKit, but you can add them to your Siri shortcuts, which can give you a lot of possibilities. Now, I've always liked the ability to create an easy, affordable DIY security system that works in HomeKit using the Acara hubs. And with this one, and even the new M1S hub, you now have access to control all four alert modes in HomeKit, which is great. That means you can build automations around each mode in HomeKit, and you can even do more in the Acara app, kind of like we discussed earlier. Now, in regards to the security system capability, this is definitely more of a DIY solution. You know, you're not gonna get battery backup. You're not gonna get cellular backup. Uh, it's not going to notify the authorities and stuff like that. You know, those are things that you would get with a more dedicated security system. But as a multi-purpose hub, just to connect all your child sensors and IR devices, things like that, this is a great option. Again, the speaker is not very loud. That's probably the most disappointing thing that I found with the M2 hub. If you really want a loudspeaker for those alarms or alerts, you might want to look at the M1 hubs since the speaker on those tend to be quite a bit louder. This was a lot to cover. If you have any questions that I didn't answer, feel free to drop them in the comments below. Check out this video right here to see some of those cool automations that I set up with these little Acara HomeKit sensors. And if you're new to smart home stuff, check out this playlist right here for how to get started with HomeKit. Hit that join button for more info on becoming a channel member. Thanks so much for watching and until next time, we'll see y'all later.